welcome back to Grandpa's attic. Oh yeah, I know it's a long way up all those steps, and I get kind of breathless myself. You know, when I lived in this house, in this attic, it was full of puppets. There were puppets everywhere. Well, now I brought them to Elo Park with me, and today I want to share a puppet with you that's one of the most popular. And I'll tell you, you know, I have this suitcase. <laughs> I showed this to you last time, and I, I got, I'm dressed all in black, and I thought it would be good if I had my scarf. And I have a multicolored scarf. And I thought, oh, no, that would be really good to show. So I have it in the suitcase, and uh, uh, he's sleeping. Can you, can you wake him up? Just make a little noise. Wake up! Good, thank you. Now, I do have this scarf. Oh. You know, I looked all over, and the only scarf I could find was black. Now that's no good because it just doesn't work. If you're going to brighten up your outfit and you're wearing black, I mean, you don't want a black scarf. But anyway, I'll, I'll try it and uh, maybe it'll do something. I, I don't know where the multicolored one went to. I haven't a clue, but I'm gonna wear this one anyway. And uh, just to, wait, wait, something's wrong, and it's, oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess it was there all the time, and I just didn't notice it. Well, <laughs> that's good. So I can wear this multicolored scarf, and that will uh, help me do the puppet show a lot better. So, uh, just sit back and enjoy it. What is it? Oh, yeah. Last time I'm buying one of those cheap scarves. All right, now, I'm going to do a puppet show, show you a puppet today. That is uh, one of the most requested ones we do in our show, and it's called the Giraffe and a Half. Now, The Giraffe and a Half is from a book by uh, Shel Silverstein. He wrote it about 50 years ago. And it wasn't a big seller. It wasn't a prize winner. But it's great for poetry. <laughs> and I have many, many requests to do it because when I perform this, I ask the audience, don't just sit there participate with me, come on. You, you can learn it. And it's just a poem, so I'm sure you can learn it if you uh, concentrate. <laughs> My granddaughter, when she was like six years old, got all great marks in school, all A's, and I said to her, how come you're so smart? And she said, I pay attention, Grandpa. So that's the clue. So if you want to say this poem with me, pay attention. So let's go to the zoo, because they have giraffes in the zoo, and I have a giraffe. And do you know giraffes can grow up to 18 feet? Oh no, it's eight feet. But anyway, most of them only have four feet. So uh, my giraffe only has four feet. So let's uh, do the story of the giraffe and a half. Now, you have to pay attention because this isn't a story that I do to amuse myself. It's a story so that we can all participate. And as we get going, you're going to have an opportunity to say it with me. OK, you ready? All right, let's go. This is the story of the giraffe and a half. And if you stretch them in half, you have a giraffe and a hat. And if you give them a hat, and inside is a rat, then you have a giraffe and a hat with a rat in his hat. You paying attention? 
okay, because you're going to have a chance to say it. Then I gave him a suit to make him look cute. And so now I got a giraffe and a half of the rat and it's half looking cute in his suit. And then I gave him a rose, well, he stuck it on his nose. Hmm. Well, then along came a bee. Bzz. And it stung him on the knee. So now I got a giraffe and a half with a rat in his half, cute in his suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. Well, then I gave him a shoe. Now I got a giraffe and a half with a rat in his half, with cute in his suit, rose on his nose, a bee on his knee, and some glue on his shoe. Well, I gave him a chair <laughs> that he could sit down, and he tried combing his hair. So now, you ready? Say it with me. I got a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, cute in his suit with a rose in his nose, bee on his knees, and blue on his shoe, chair in his hair. Great. And a long came a flute. And I taught him to toot. So, if you're ready, we'll say it together. I got a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, and toot in the soup with a rose in his nose, bee on his knee, and some glue on his shoe, and a chair in his hair. Flute, he could toot. The... Not everybody is saying it with me. Are you concentrating? If you want to be smart, you have to concentrate. That's what I learned. Okay. You know, I could do this slower and make it like a, a rock beat. So we got, you ready? A giraffe in the hat with a rat in his hat, looking cute in the suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some blue in his shoe and a chair in his hair. Oh, that was much better. Okay, now, along, uh, I gave him a flute, he could do it, and I gave him a bike. And he ran over a spike. So now, I got a rat and half of the rat and a dap of cute and stupid with the rose and nose and be on his knee and the flute and a shoe. Chair and his hair and a flute, he could do it, and a bike with a spike. You're not saying. A couple of people, that woman over there with the white hair, yes, she's pretty good. She came close. But, but the rest of you really have to pay attention. Well, after I gave him the chair and his hair, they put in his hair and a flute he could do, and a bite with a spike, along came a snake that was eating some cake. So now, I got a giraffe and a hat with a rat in his hat, looking cute in his suit, with a rose on his nose, and a bee on his knee, and some blue on his shoe, and a chair in his hair, flute he could toot, and a bite with a spike, and a snake eating cake. And then along came a skunk <laughs> that lived in a trunk. So now we got a giraffe and a hat with a rat in his hat, with cute in the suit, with a rose of his nose, bee on his knee, and some glue in his shoe, and a chair in his hair, flute he could toot, and a bite with a spike and a snake, he gave a skunk in a trunk, and along came a dragon that was sitting in a wagon. Oh, you ready? Let's go. I got a giraffe and half the rat in his hat with cute in the suit with the roses and nose and his knee and the glue in his shoe. Chair in his hair and the flute he could toot and the bike with a spike and snake eating cat. Skunk and a trunk and a dragon and a wagon. And along came a whale. Now it was just a little whale. This isn't a very big zoo. And it bit him on the tail. You ready? Let's go. I got a giraffe and a half of the rat in his hat with cute in the suit with the rose of his nose. Be on his knee and some glue on his shoe and a chair and a chair. And a fluid he could do and a bike with a spike and a snake eating cake. Skunk and a trunk and a dragon and a wagon and a whale. 
that fell off his tail. But then he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole. Well, I, he came out of the hole, and the whale on the tail he already ran off to the mail, and the dragon ran off because his wagon was sagging, and this sold the stump and the trunk to a man that bought junk. And the snake with the cake ran off and jumped in the lake, and the bee on the knee flew off with a flea. And he gave the flute he could toot to a man for some fruit. Gave the chair in his hair to a tired old bear. Took the shoe with the glue, and he put it on you. And he gave the rose on his nose to a girl that he chose. And gave the bike with a spike to a scout on a hike. And the silly old rat ran off with the hat and he threw the suit of the cute down the laundry chute and I put him back by half and now I've got a giraffe. Thank you. And now you did pretty good. And so now you know the story of the giraffe and a half. Thank you, giraffe. So long. Thank you for learning the rhyme.